Dear and gentle students, I want to tell you about this thing called the appositive comma. Now this isn't the end of the world, but it is a good thing to know. So, when you address people in your writing, dear reader, you put a comma before and after the words you use to address them, like I did in that sentence, where I'm calling you dear reader. For instance, and these, you often see these around kind of people doing jokes, these are very nerdy jokes I have to say. So, I've got time to kill Jack is me in fact saying that I've got time to kill, to kill Jack. Not good. But if I've got kind of time to kill Jack, then I'm speaking to Jack. Let's eat Grandpa is in fact cannibalism. Let's eat capital G, Grandpa, calling him his name, comma before it. That's just saying to Grandpa it's time for dinner. Doesn't even have to be using their real name. It can just be whatever term it is that you're using to refer to them. So that's great work, buddy. Students, this can go at the start of a sentence. So you can say their name at the start of a sentence, at the middle of a sentence, at the end of a sentence. The only time I would recommend that you don't use this positive comma is when you're using very, very short sentences, young ones. So as you can see, when you are speaking to people, my dear and gentle students and listeners and readers, commas are good. That's it.